year it seemed like everyone was having a go at the SEO industry. We had newspapers complaining about paid links, we had congressmen trying to control the internet, we had people telling us what to do with our cookies, where to place them, how to use them, what we can track, what we can't track. We had Google making massive changes impacting the whole industry overnight and we even had members of the public complaining about black hat tactics and things that they didn't understand. Which is why I think in 2012 it's really important that we fight for the things that we believe in if we want to keep our industry safe. Because more and more people are coming in trying to control the SEO industry, trying to make it something that it doesn't need to be, and also I think people are trying to control the internet in a lot of ways that could damage everything, not just the SEO industry. It could be even bigger than that. What we've got here are eight things that I want the industry to fight for. I'm going to tell you how to fight for them and the things that we're going to do as well. And hopefully by the end of the year, our industry will be even stronger than it is now. The first thing is the Stop Online Piracy Act, which was the hot debate at the end of last year, which is continuing on now. What this means is that if this act passes, any website that has unlawful material can be shut down even if that material is uploaded by a user of the website and not the fault of the actual website itself. Websites with user-generated content like YouTube are going to be massively under threat from this and although they're probably big enough to fight this, the smaller players like Dailymotion could be taken out with something like this. To fight this, if you're in America, write to your congressman now and Matt Kutz has actually written a really good blog post on this so you should search that out. If you're in the UK, oh, this is an American issue, but it will impact American websites that we use all the time if it does pass. And the best thing you can do is to blog about it, to tell people about it. If you know people in America, ask them to write to their congressman as well. The second issue is not provided, which was the worst thing that Google did to us last year. And unfortunately, it's not an issue that ended there. We lost 10 to 15% of our keyword data, depending on the industry. And in theory, that's only going to keep getting bigger. There's been predictions of it being around 25%. In really uh, niche industries where a lot of people are logged into Google, e-consultancy reported at 33%, which is a, a horrifically scary statistic. And because that's going to keep getting bigger, because more people are log on to Google properties like Gmail and Google+, we need, to, we need to watch this and we need to fight and we need to be prepared to say this isn't okay. The problem is that, that Martin McDonald and a few others did various petitions which got over a thousand signatures with SEOs saying this is wrong. But we're, we're still here and it still exists. And I think the problem is that the public really need to be made aware of this issue. We need to make the public aware that without keyword data, we can't provide the pages that they want to see on the internet. We can't write content that they like, and we can't see why they came to our website in the first place and then give them what they want, which is really going to be problematic. The only way that's going to happen is we can if we can speak to the mainstream press and they can write about it and say to the public, this is wrong. I've contacted a few places, but if anyone has any contacts in the mainstream media, speak to them about this and, and say, you know, hey members of the public, this is wrong. You're being used to make Google more money. It's damaging the internet, it's destroying the pages that you see. Hopefully, I don't I could live with not providing it ten to fifteen percent, I'd survive. But if, if it keeps going up, we're gonna have a serious problem. The other thing is that as our industry grows, I think there's gonna be more effort from people to protect things. If you're working on a SEO project for the likes of Coca-Cola, you're going to be on an NDA. You're not going to be able to talk about anything you've done for them or share any of the research that you have. And also, if Coca-Cola hears that you're speaking at conferences about SEO that you do in general, they might be unhappy. And that risks us being able to talk about what we do as an industry. The way we can resolve this is really just to explain to our clients when we get them what we do, to to depersonalize the data when we present it at conferences, and also just to be nice to each other as well as an industry. I, I met a lot of the speakers at SearchLove, and even though some of them have been doing SEO for 10 years, um, and I'm junior to them in a way, 
they were all pleased to have conversations with new people and fresh faces and I think that's fantastic that there's no snobbery in the industry that, that I can see but we're going to need to fight to keep that that's not the kind of thing that stays that way I'm sure there's a lot of big wigs out there who make a lot of money who would love the industry to be closed off and everyone to keep everything secret so we'll fight against that one content quality in the last year it, it seemed like the internet got worse every query that I did seemed to bring up ridiculous results or spun content or um, content that had clearly been outsourced or of a low quality and I, the SEO industry seems to be stamping that out now and, and do, using those tactics less but the, the spammers and scam artists of the world aren't stopping it so they're just, if anything they're scaling it up with PLR content and other shady tactics to flood the internet with rubbish content just to get a few AdSense clicks or affiliate clicks to fight this particular one, I recommend blocking any website that you dislike. So if you go to a website and hit the back button, it says block all results from this web page. Click that. If nothing else, your web results will improve on a personal level. But I hope that Google starts to use this data and to realize that if 100 people block a website, it's probably not very good content and that hopefully that will see it removed. Lies. A few years ago, a lot of clients were approaching me at my previous agency asking me to write fake reviews and testimonials about them even though I'd never used their product. Nowadays I wouldn't use that tactic at all. For the first reason being, if you do use it and if you do spread lies about a company, positive or negative, um, websites can figure it out. There's an algorithm that a university has made that actually can tell if a mention or a review of something is fake just based on the kind of language that's used compared to an honest review from a normal user of the product and because you can get caught for it really easily it means a lot of sites like TripAdvisor are displaying notices on pages with fake reviews to say don't trust anything on this page essentially and also just the moral ramifications do we want to be the kind of industry that runs around leaving fake reviews about things and who has no moral conscience and just happy to say yeah buy this product give us your money and just to take it and sleep at night that, that's not the way I want to be in the industry and personally if if I spot fake reviews now I'm going to report them because it just it just seems wrong to, to trick customers in that way fake SEO companies again this is lying that directly impacts us We've seen some SEO agencies, and not, not the reputable ones or, or the ones that you hear of often, but little one-man band or startup companies saying, making ridiculous promises to their clients, like, we'll get you number one for insurance, Mr. Two-Person Insurance Company. And every time they do this, and it, it damages that company's opinion of SEO industry in general, they're less likely to come back, come to a reputable agency. And also their opinion of SEO in general is going to be really bad. If you spot a fake SEO company, so that's one of these companies who says, hey, we can ring Google up and get you a number one position overnight, that kind of ridiculous claim, then report them, post about them on your blog, expose them to people. We exposed a couple last year, and if we see any again this year, we will definitely expose them. Because it's just not right, and it damages every agency that's reputable. Google results. Last year was a rapid year of change for the Google search results. Uh, one example being the paid ads seem to have got bigger overnight and if you have a shopping result they can take up almost a whole screen. Rand Fishkin spoke about this in his 2012 predictions and it was interesting to read because he predicted that we will have an uprising against Google because of this which is sort of what I'm saying we need to fight the things that we disagree with. So if you feel that's wrong you obviously need to contact Google, make the press aware of it. The other thing they're doing as well is aggregating results from other places. The reviews industry was pretty much killed off overnight because Google aggregated all the reviews and showed them directly on their web page, so you didn't need to click to the review websites. They then killed it off completely with the Panda update, which was just another nail in the coffin. 
And they could do that to many other industries. They've started aggregating hotel and flight results now, which makes customers really price conscious to go, oh, that's the cheapest one, I'm going to have that one. Anything that costs more just doesn't have a chance anymore. And, you know, car insurance industry, for example, they could aggregate car insurance prices. They could put um, confused.com, money supermarket, and all the rest out of business, just like that. So if you're not fighting it now, it could impact your industry very soon and you'll wish you were fighting against it. Last up, we got the cookie law. I've put this last of the list because I think personally for a lot of us, this is last of our list of things to do. But it's going to happen on May 26, 2011, whether we like it or not. Um, you're going to need to be compliant. I don't think we can change the law as it is. It's passed, it's been implemented in Europe, it's going to happen in the UK. But we can certainly keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get out of hand or even worse than it is. There's every possibility that this could expand to mean that we can never use Google Analytics anymore. We can never have AdWords tracking code. We can't do remarketing. We could lose all of that if this law gets out of control. So we need, I mean, we need to keep a closer eye to what's happening with legislation in the SEO industry. SEO by the Sea looks at patents in the SEO industry, and I think that's a good place to look. But also just general news sites, just to see what's happening in the world of technology, will help us to predict these kind of changes, blog about them, and tell other SEO people about them, and say, hey, this is wrong. And, and that's what's happened with the Stop Online Piracy Act. We've all jumped in to help and say, this is wrong. And a lot of companies have backed away from it now because of the exposure that it's had. Which is proof that if you fight for something that you believe in, in this industry, you can help to stop it or delay it. So if there is anything this year that you need to fight for, look at these things and say, look at the ones that are wrong and try to change them. Our industry is not the victim of all the forces that impact on us. We can change things that we don't agree with and we can fight back. If we do this, the industry will be better and stronger at the end of this year than it is at the start. And I think that's really what we all want to see. Thank you for watching, and for more information, visit kuzai.com or any of the profiles below, or please leave a comment with the things that you feel we should fight for this year.